Patriots breaking news on a Thursday afternoon. Ian Rappaport has it. Elliot Wolf and the New England Patriots signed Chuck Wuma, a quarter for the former Pittsburgh Steelers right tackle to a one-year deal, I believe. Um, I'll check back to see if that is the case, but I'm pretty sure it's just a one-year deal. And I really like this move, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But this is why you subscribe, so you do not miss out on any Patriots news. We've talked about free agency looming up ahead. It's beginning on March 11th, and guess what? The Patriots are already making moves. So hit that sub button, join the channel, so you never miss a piece of a Patriots news or a signing. All right, let's check in on a core four because... Well, you might be asking yourself first, how did the Patriots even sign him when free agency hasn't begun yet? Well, the thing is, the each team is allowed to sign their own players to a extension or re-sign them prior to free agency hitting, or you could sign people on other clubs that got cut slash released. A core four was released by the Pittsburgh Steelers back in February, so he was available to sign. And I love that Tyra or excuse me, Elliot Wolf went out and got Chucks is his nickname. That's what they call him. And his grades, they're not tremendous. I mean, he only played 436 snaps this year, um, was benched for the rookie Broderick Jones out of Georgia that Pittsburgh drafted in the first round uh, halfway through the year, allowed two sacks. Uh, 11 pressures, PFF grades all in the low 60s, so nothing crazy. But I do like this signing for New England, and this is why. The Patriots know that one of their biggest issues on this team is their offensive line. And I love the fact that they're proactive and they're already starting to address the needs and issues of this roster before everybody else can on March 11th at 12 p.m. Eastern time when that legal tampering begins. I like that Elliot Wolf is really starting to get things going, and Okorafor is not the worst player either. I know the grades weren't great, but he was a three-year starter for Pittsburgh. He's only 26 years old. He started each of 2020, 21, 22, and then in 2023, he started the first eight games, got benched because he called out Matt Canada on their play calling, and then they went with the rookie out of Georgia anyway that they picked in the first round. But core four is a starting caliber offensive tackle in this league, but specifically right tackle. What was your one-word reaction to the Patriots signing core four? I got to be honest, I'll give you my one word in a second, but I was shocked. I didn't expect the Patriots to sign this quality of an offensive lineman before free agency begins. So I was shocked, but my actually one word is beginning because this is not – the first, this is not the last, I should say, signing New England will make to this offensive line. They know this is a group that needs to be kind of overhauled, if we're going to be honest. And if we look at their depth chart here, Michael Wenu is going to be a free agent. And we'll talk about this signing potentially impacting a Wenu return to New England in just a bit. But they have their interior kind of laid out here. You have the former first-round pick, Cole Strange, David Andrews. And then City Hatsau, who impressed last season in some starts late down the year at right guard. I'd expect that to be your starting interior offensive line in September of next year. But you're going to have a new left tackle. Trent Brown will not be returning in 2024. You can guarantee that. The question is, Michael Wenu, will he return to New England? But I would also expect the Patriots to make a bunch of signings in the interior as well to provide some depth to City Sal and Cole Strange, specifically Strange, who has had quite the bit of injury history as of late, but I'd expect a core for to slot in as a swing tackle. And that's kind of where I want to get here. Yes, he has had three and a half years of starting experience over the last four seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers, graded out low 60s in almost every single year. So it's nothing crazy and mountain moving. And I don't want you to sit here and think, well, he started the last three and a half years. Is this our starting right tackle? No, it is not going to be your starting right tackle. I also do want to make note that he has never started a game at left tackle. He's almost exclusively a right tackle. And he's only 26, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. So he's still young. Maybe he can switch over to left. But I see him as a swing tackle. I don't think he will be starting back in September when the season gets underway. And I still think... Some of the most important things that Elliot Wolf, Gerard Mayo, and this Patriots front office are going to still want to do is sign a left tackle, whether it be Tyron Smith, but also re-signing Michael Wenu. What this does to me is just provide New England with a lot of flexibility because what they now have at their disposal in this hypothetical land I like to live in, right? You sign Tyron Smith in free agency. You got your left tackle. You have Michael Wenu returning 
on a long-term deal at right tackle. So now your old line is Smith, Strange, Andrews, City Sow, and then right tackle Michael Weno. And then you have as a swing a quarter four, as well as a rookie you draft in the third round. Now you have an offensive lineman that has some youth to it, depth to it, and also has some top end starting experience as well. That is my dream, and I think that's the plan for Elliott Wolf with a core four and the rest of this Patriots offensive line. That's not the only move they made today, by the way. I do want to get to these. The Patriots were absolutely busy. They brought back both Alex Austin and Tyrone Wheatley Jr. We t spoke a little bit on Alex Austin about uh, him returning earlier today on our video that went out. Still watch that one on the latest rumors going into free agency. Talked about LeJarrius Sneed and Jacoby Brissett. But Austin is returning to the Patriots, and this is one that I do want to expand on just a bit because this cornerback room is pretty solid. And uh, I like Austin as a fourth or fifth cornerback for this Patriots team. I still would expect Jonathan Jones, Conzo to be your outside corners right now unless they make a splash move with Marcus Jones potentially being that nickel slash slot cornerback for New England returning from that injury he had in the first couple weeks of last season. Miles Bryant could be in that role if they bring him back. But then Austin and Bryant would be your fourth or fifth guys. And I don't hate that. Austin was actually pretty solid for the Patriots down the stretch of the 2023 NFL season. He only played in 216 snaps, but they were good snaps, man. And he got a lot of playing time late because of all the injuries to the secondary for the Patriots. Posted a PFF grade, like nothing flashy, kind of like a core four where they're in the low 60s, mid 60s. But when opposing quarterbacks were targeting Alex Austin down the stretch of the season, he was only giving up a completion percentage of 54 and a half. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Also picked up an INT and had two pass breakups as well. I'm a big fan of Alex Austin's game, and I think he's very promising. He's going to be back on a one-year deal. So if he plays well for New England again, he could be in line for another payday. But I think Austin is going to contribute to this Patriots roster next year, whether it be in the special teams games, whether it be um, playing outside, because he can do it all for the Patriots. I liked what he's shown, and... God forbid Gonzo gets hurt again, which would be devastating, or Jonathan Jones misses a couple of games. I have the confidence in Alex Austin to step up and spot start in some cases. It's not like we're throwing a horrific cornerback out there. Year two with the Patriots, I think he'll be coached up even more, have more experience, and make even a bigger impact for this New England Patriots roster. So let me know, are you happy Alex Austin is back on this team? Type Y for yes, type N for no. If you can't tell, I am pretty happy, so I am typing my Ys. That'll do it for today's video. Appreciate everyone coming around and hanging out with us here at Patriots today. Like I said, we will cover you on the latest surrounding the New England Patriots, whether it be rumors heading into free agency, trade news, trade rumors, signings. We will have it all, so join us here at Patriots today. Thank you.